Every time I open one of these videos, I see some guy on Pro Tools with six different vocal tracks, splitting them all up, and turning this off, and turning that on. Basically just going beyond what my tiny brain can comprehend and my wallet can afford. So today, I'm going to show you how to make a clean version of a song on Audacity. It's relatively simple, it's free, and if you're willing to put the work in, you can make it sound just as good as someone using Pro Tools. The song I'm going to use as an example today is Boom Boom Pow by the Black Eyed Peas because that was a very popular song, but it's got one word in it that some people might not want their kids hearing or be able to play on the radio. Just some general advice before we get started, I'm going to, multiple times throughout this tutorial, I'm going to say grab the curse word in the audio. And some radio edits and clean versions you probably heard, when the curse word comes up, it'll go shh or fo. If you're okay with, like, they're still being part of the word intact, it'll go, of course, like, if you're okay with that, just skip over this part. But if you want to fully cover the word, I suggest playing back the audio a few times and checking a tiny bit before and after to make sure you've grabbed the whole word. The first method I'm going to show you is the reverse method. So what you need to do is grab the curse word in the audio, which I've already done, just go to effect and then hit reverse. This is by far the easiest way of doing things, but it can backfire. Sometimes words that are reversed still sound like the word or another curse word. Also, if there's so much you have to, if you have to reverse a lot in the song, it's distracting and throws off the beat of the song. The next method I'm going to show you is the vocal remover method. What you're going to do is grab the curse word again, go up to effect, hit vocal, hit vocal remover, and then hit OK. Now in theory, what this should do is make the curse word inaudible, which it did this time. However, I would say this only works maybe 30% of the time for me. More often than not, it can't strip the word entirely and and then it just turn, turns it down a little, but you can still like clearly make it out, so I have to try a different effect. When this does work, it can be great, but when it doesn't, well, it's, it's time to try something else. The third method I'm going to show you is the pitch shift method. What you're going to do here is you're going to go to effect again, and then you're going to go to sliding stretch. And you're going to want to make sure all my settings match what I've got right here. I've got the, like, the initial pitch shift, everything should be zero. And then the final pitch shift, you want the semitones at negative 12 and 50 for the percentage. It's for the final pitch shift. Then, after you've got all that set, you're going to want to hit OK. And you're going to want to do it two or three times, because it's not it's not going to cover up the word if you only do it once. Now, what that did is slow down the word to the point where it turned into more of a sound effect. And I hear this effect on the radio all the time. I'm sure they're not using Audacity for professional radio edits, but it sounds the same. And if you're going for professionalism, this is a great one to use. I have noticed that it works better with the lower level words like shit and ass than it does with the big ones though. The next one I'm going to show you is the record scratch method. Now for this one, I'm going to be using an effect that doesn't come with Audacity. You have to download it and add it into your effect library. I will include the download link in the description. Once you have it, go up to effect again, and then you're going to, I'm already scrolled down, but then you want to go to wiki warp, and then hit OK. I, you can adjust the depth of effect, but I think anything lower than 5 is, gonna, sounds, is not going to cover up the word, and anything higher than 5 is going to sound kind of silly. As you can see, it covers up the word with a record scratch sound. The next method I'm going to show you is the repeat method. What you're going to do is pick out, is pick the word out before it, or it can be two words, I've done that before. In this case, it's going to be Fergie saying next. Make sure we get only the word next. Now we're when, once you have the word, you're gonna go. You're gonna want to go up to effect. Hold up, give me a second. 
gonna want to go to effects and then you're gonna want to hit repeat that's not right sorry about that saying next so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to effect and we're gonna hit repeat oh, we only want it once hit okay Oh, I forgot. I still had that. But I forgot I still had the... Alright, so what we're gonna do after that is you wanna go to where the cur... No, right after that is probably where the curse word is. So you're gonna wanna cut the curse word out. Just cut it out entirely. Go up to edit and hit cut. Now you, as you can see, that just cut the word entirely, and it, it kind of kept the flow because she said, "I'm on that next, next now," instead of, yeah. So that, so that's one method of doing things. Let's see. Finally, this last method that I'm going to show you is the instrumental method. Well, so you'll need another. You'll need to get another download. This is the instrumental of the song. This can be the most difficult simply because you want to make sure it's the same quality as the song. It's not a remake or a piano edition that sounds different. And also that and the length matches the song. But you can usually fix the length if you have to by going in and trimming silence and audacity from either the original song or the instrumental until their lengths match up. Once you have a good instrumental, you're going to want to open it in audacity in a new window. And the original song is going to be in a separate window. For the record, I know there's probably a better and more professional way of getting the instrumental and the original song together on Audacity. And for the sake of this tutorial, I, I don't care. Like, this is easy. This is just how I do it. Alright. Let's see. We're at 58.5. Hold up. I don't think we're over. Okay, so we're going to go to the exact timestamp. And the instrumental, where the word is, we're going to copy it from the instrumental, and then we're going to paste it into the original song. So now I've shown you six methods to make a clean edit of a song in Audacity. You can combine these if you need to. For example, sometimes I've done sliding stretch and vocal remover. If I didn't feel like either one of them on their own adequately covered the word. However, I'm certain that by using one of these methods, you will be able to ensure that Fergie is not on that next shit now or whatever else you need to cover up for the sake of your ears, somebody else's ears, not having the FCC on your ass, whatever you need.